I pledge to govern with humility and transparency and to fight corruption at all levels. I pledge to devote myself fully to rebuilding our institutions. These were the words of the newly elected president of Senegal, Basaru Diomai Faye, as he addressed his supporters and allies on Monday, 25th of March, 2024. In a promising move, Sanko and Faye have vowed to reevaluate their relationship with France, sparking discussions about Senegal's foreign policy. While concerns have been raised about anti-French sentiments in neighboring Francophone countries leading to military coups, experts suggest that foreign policy is unlikely to change drastically. As Vincent Fouché, West Africa analyst at the Bordeaux Institute of Political Studies, notes, Sanko's stance against France has been firm, yet he has also demonstrated a willingness to compromise. Fay, who previously expressed interest in a win-win partnership with France, is now poised to be the face of Senegal's evolving relationship with the former colonial power. These developments reflect a hopeful and forward-thinking approach towards shaping Senegal's future. Fay, the 44-year-old president-elect, launched his electoral campaign based on a platform of transforming political practices and the country's economic direction. He put forth several proposals, including a thorough review of the country's mining and energy contracts. This review would aim to ensure that the Senegalese people have more control over their resources and profits. Additionally, he proposed granting more independence to the judiciary to make the legal system more fair and just. Furthermore, Faye called for a reduction of the president's power to prevent any potential abuse of authority. Lastly, he also proposed regional monetary reforms to improve the country's economic infrastructure and stability. In this video, let us examine together what the next possible steps for Senegal are under Basaru Faye. Basaru Dio Mai Faye, a tax inspector who was recently freed from jail, is poised to become the next president of Senegal after a vote that has been hailed as a testament to the country's democratic resilience. While awaiting the final results from the Electoral Commission, early tallies show Faye securing an outright majority in Sunday's election. His main opponent and ruling party candidate, Amadou Ba, has already conceded defeat, and outgoing President Macky Sall has congratulated the 44-year-old on his historic win. This is a triumph for Senegalese democracy, Sal said. Senegal recently held its presidential election after its delay due to the pandemic. The incumbent president, Macky Sall, who had already served two terms, was barred by the constitution from running for a third term. However, there was speculation that he might extend his rule. The election was crucial for the country to turn a new page in its political history. Senegal has a history of peaceful transitions of power since its independence in the 1960s. The election saw a new face representing the ruling party, Mohamed Dion Faye. However, he was not the face of the opposition. Usman Sonko, who promised to tackle corruption, had won popularity among Senegalese youth. He could not run in the elections due to defamation charges, but he remained popular. He nominated Faye as his heir, and his supporters were urged to vote for Faye. Senegal has been praised for its economic growth in recent years, but it has failed to provide better job opportunities for its young people. Three out of ten young Senegalese are unemployed. Faye now has the responsibility to fulfill the nation's expectations and address these challenges. Faye, the newly elected president of Senegal, wasn't guaranteed to win just a month ago when the previous president, Sal, postponed the election. This caused chaos in the country, leading to deadly protests and the country's highest court overruling the decision. Sal's second term was marked by violence and a decline in democracy, which left a bad taste in the mouths of many Senegalese. Over the past three years, dozens of protesters were killed and 1,000 people were imprisoned on politically motivated charges. However, last weekend, more than 7 million voters came out to cast their ballots in peaceful scenes that stood in stark contrast with the drama of the past month. This victory is a testament to the resilience of democracy in Senegal. It shows that the country's democracy has the necessary safeguards to resist any attempts to undermine it. This is not the first time that Senegalese voters have fought back against an attempted constitutional breach. In 2012, young people turned out en masse to vote for Saul the then-opposition candidate, preventing two-time President Abdoulaye Wade from running for a third term. 